Uh, Laura, this, of course, is just one of many, many legal fronts facing the former president. And you've got a look back on all the trouble that has piled up for Trump over the past year. Yeah, it's nice to be with you guys this morning. So, of course, all of the legal jeopardy that Donald Trump finds himself in was well documented for months, even really years. But this was the year that what was once hypothetical turned very, very real. We are coming on the air with breaking news set to rattle the 2024 presidential campaign and our country's legal landscape. After years of investigations. They're not coming after me. They're coming after you. 2023 will go down as the year it all came to a head. We have one set of laws in this country and they apply to everyone. The 45th president, now a criminal defendant, Donald Trump indicted in multiple jurisdictions. An unprecedented moment in history, the fallout far reaching. This is a grave day and a serious one for our country. First charged in New York for what prosecutors say he did to get into office originally. Mr. Trump stands accused of doctoring his company's books and records to cover up an embarrassing story ahead of the 2016 election. The Manhattan grand jury voting to indict former President Donald Trump. Then in Washington and Georgia. We look at the facts, we look at the law, and we bring charges. Allegations of a sweeping conspiracy to stay in power and steal the 2020 election. Not about calling the election rigged. It's not about saying that he had actually won. It's about the means that he used to do that. The former president also charged for what the Justice Department says he did after he finally left the White House. The new photos released showing boxes of documents stashed in a ballroom, even a bathroom, at his Mar-a-Lago home. His arrests and arraignment playing out live. Mr. Trump treating his court appearances almost as campaign events. The sole mugshot taken in Fulton County, another surreal first, along a steady stream of attacks. The attorney general of this state is a disgrace against the prosecutors, judges, and witnesses against him. I did nothing wrong, and everybody knows it. I've never had such support. But with each passing indictment, his poll numbers have grown. His fundraising numbers through the roof. Yet his legal woes have become increasingly complicated, with several alleged co-conspirators pleading guilty in Georgia and now cooperating with prosecutors. If I knew then what I know now, I would have declined to represent Donald Trump in these post-election challenges. And it's not just criminal cases on the docket this year. On the civil side... Did Donald Trump sexually abuse Ms. Carroll? The answer to that from the jury is yes. Mr. Trump found liable for sexually abusing writer E. Jean Carroll in the dressing room of a department store in the 90s and calling her claims a hoax. His deposition played at trial. You can do anything, grab them by the... You could do anything. That's what you said, correct? Well, historically, that's true with stars. It's true with stars that, that they can grab women by the... Well, that's what... It's, if you look over the last million years, I guess that's been largely true. Not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. Mr. Trump now appealing that $5 million verdict against him while the ongoing civil fraud trial in Manhattan appears to have struck a nerve. This is just a railroad job. It's a witch hunt with no jury. The family's real estate empire that propelled him to fame in the White House now on the line. Having already found fraud, the judge now set to determine the penalty in the coming weeks while Mr. Trump's rhetoric outside the courtroom... We have a corrupt legal system in New York City and New York State. ...increasingly landing him in real legal jeopardy, battling over two gag orders. They do gag orders because they don't want to hear the truth. But 2024 could pose the greatest test yet, with the political calendar and Mr. Trump's trial schedule now on a collision course, with the first criminal trial against the Republican frontrunner set to begin next spring. But for now, all eyes are on the Supreme Court. As you mentioned at the top of the show, the justices are soon set to decide whether to take up this very critical issue of whether the former president is immune from prosecution at all.